Meet Eiko. She is your typical normal average teenager. The only thing unaverage about her is that she has superhuman abilities. I still don't think we'll make it in time and that won't make a very good impression. There it is. We'll take a shortcut, Seiko. If you say so. <laughs> She and her best friend Seiko recently got themselves into a new school where they meet Biko, a spoiled rich kid and childhood rival of Eiko. And she wants Seiko all to herself. And she will do whatever it takes to get her, even if it means hurting Eiko. I've got to have that girl for myself and I know how to get her. First, I get Eiko out of the way. Then I tell Mari to frighten her. I come to her rescue. She'll fall in my lap. And Echo's history. Huh. <laughs> Not only that, a bunch of aliens are also after Seiko. And they want to kidnap her. And it is up to Echo to save her. So this is an action comedic anime, originally created by Kazumi Shirazaka and Katsuhiko Nishijima, who also directed this anime. This anime can be summed up in three words. Girls kicking ass! Not to mention the comedy in this anime is absolutely hilarious. It even parodies other famous animes. Plus, the action in this anime will blow you away with its craziness. And now say your prayers! <laughs> Are you okay? Okay, Eiko! What a bully! The animation of this anime was done by Yuji Moriyama, who worked on animes like Maison Ikoku and Tokyo Underground. I have to say for an anime that was made in the 80s, it looks amazing. Not to mention the movements within the action is also smooth to the motion. Although this anime is a DVD, it kind of looks like it came out of the VHS. I love the voice acting for the Japanese dub. Voice actresses Imishi Nohara, Michi Tomizawa, and Miki Ito play the characters stupendously and give complete hilarity to them. As for the English dub, even though the voice actors do have some hilarity, but the acting needs a little work. <sighs> Terrific, ain't it? What about that? Oh, hey, you've got all blue in the face, Aiko. What's the matter with her? Don't she appreciate home cooking? All anyone will eat these days is junk food. The music of this anime was done by Joey Carbone and Richie Zito. Now it's a complete rarity that you find American English composers working on an 80s anime, but I have to admit that the English music really works with this anime. Featuring enchanting, comedic, and upbeat action that will just sweep you off your feet.
In the end, Project Echo the movie is one comedic action roller coaster ride that you never ever want to get off. So, that's my review of Project Echo the movie. I give this anime a 5 out of 5.